Good morning, Saxon family. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Got a uh, smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. If you're not yet a part of the Saxon family, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on any videos coming here to the channel. Today, we are doing Orbeez versus Lava, Dry Ice versus Lava, and finally, a PlayStation 4 versus Lava. We got everything we need all over here. We got a furnace and we got some propane, Bobby. It's all about that propane. Hello there, I'm Hank Hill and I sell propane and propane accessories. And today, we're gonna melt lava rocks into lava. Now to be completely honest with all of you, I tried filming this video yesterday and completely failed. An hour and a half and um, yeah, the, ro I, the rocks are cold. I, I know, literally we had to take the rocks out we put a little water in it, maybe try to get them to boil, but this is literally taking so much longer than expected. Um, Jesse, you, you okay there, buddy? Yeah, I just uh, singed the little hairs on my arms. It's finally working. Interesting. But hey, it's a new day and a new beginning for us to actually get this video right and get everything working. Unfortunately, we could not get the lava rocks to finally melt into lava. They were glowing orange. But after talking to some YouTubers that have done this video, they told me exactly what I needed to do to make the lava rocks melt. Real quick, speaking of YouTubers that have been doing this, I want to shout out the three that I've noticed that have done this. Skybeck, I think he's been the one that's been doing this the most. Phase Rug, and then finally my friend Just Dustin. Yeah, those are the people that I've noticed been doing this video, and so today, Today, we're going to have a complete fun video for you guys of us melting stuff because, yeah, this yesterday was just a complete failure. I want this PS4 to be completely melted. But without a further ado, let's get right into today's video. Right now, I'm currently waiting on my friend Ryan to come over to help film this video. And uh, I'm very excited because we almost have lava. Last I checked, it was getting really, really hot in there. I just got done talking to Just Us and he told me it's going to take about 30 to 40 minutes to actually have lava. So I'm super excited and I can't wait to take some lava and pour it over here onto some good old Orbeez. We're going to do Orbeez first and then dry ice and then the grand finale will be the PlayStation 4. Finally, we have lava and my friend George is here and we got Ryan behind the camera real quick. I'm back. <laughs> we'll, we'll put, uh, real quick, we'll put George's TikTok on the screen. That's what he wants to do. He wants to be a TikToker. I don't get it, but that's cool. I respect it. But time to have some lava fun. Put these on the Orbeez. Oh, oh my goodness, Brian. Take a look at this. That is straight lava. All right, George, I'm going to need the... Uh, I got the spoon. Yeah, I need the spoon so I can... I got it. Uh, All right, ready? Sure. Good. Yeah. It's coming out slowly but surely. All right, here, George, I need the spoon so I can pull the spoon. my lava out of here. Oh, wow, it's literally so slow to come out. It's about to literally, oh, there it is. It's in the Orbeez. Dude, it sounds like, uh, like one of those shows on TV. Where it's like, boom, 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 uh, anime shows. Let's see if we get any more of this lava out of here. Uh, let's, let's put this on top. Yeah, that was oh, wait, that was a bad idea. I forgot Orbeez will melt. As you guys can see, it didn't do as much. We're going to actually add some more rocks into here. Throw that back in, and next we're gonna do some dry ice. Next we're gonna have dry ice. This is gonna be really fun. My uh, mom went to shop right today and got me not one, but two bags of dry ice. So this is gonna be interesting. Jeff, what are we doing right now? Uh, we're currently replacing the uh, the propane tanks because we're out of propane, and we've gone through I guess now two tanks since yesterday. So we're about to have the third one on and be able to make more lava. You can see just exactly how hot that's about to be. And we're gonna have more lava in a second to be able this to melt dry out. ice. Woo! All right, you give it a little bit more gas or propane. You know what lava reminds me? Like what it looks like? What job? It looks like buffalo sauce. You look like buffalo sauce. I don't even know how to respond. 
Yo, we literally have a full cup of lava. George had this great idea of, let's just fill the cup up with a lot of rocks. I was like, okay, well take a look at this, man. That is lava at its finest, honestly. Wow, that is, that is actually hot. But you wanna know it's hotter than that spoon? Me. No, the lava, let's, let's, let's get it. Oh boy, this is hot. Here we go, we gotta move quick. George, I need my spoon. Get the spoon. Oh, that was weird. Well, actually, you can see it's melting the dry ice, which is pretty neat. Lava in my hand was on top of dry ice. We're gonna actually melt some more lava and pour more lava onto the dry ice. We'll be right back. We're gonna check the temperature inside our furnace here and see how hot it is actually putting out uh, with the fire and the lava itself. So right here, I have my Seek thermal imaging camera. I got this a while ago for firefighting. And it's pretty great because it's gonna allow me to see the exact heat. Brian, if you come here and zoom, you can see right there the fire itself shooting straight up. You can see what's hot. Uh, so if we get close in a second, we're gonna be able to see exactly how hot. Yesterday we had this at over 1100. The highest so far we just picked up, up oh, there we go, 1200. As you can see, if I point in the right direction, it's gonna give me the right amount of heat. So obviously this fire right here is over 1,000 degrees, so this is a 1,000 degree lava versus a dry ice. Uh, because I wasn't happy with how the dry ice just ended up. As you guys see, I mean, it's still kind of melting. If you just look right down there, Ryan, you see some of the ash and all that all over. And I feel bad for that dry ice, but it needs to have more lava. Attempt number two, actually no, it's attempt number three against dry ice. So we had the failure yesterday. The one we just did wasn't the greatest. Now we're trying again, so here we go. Oh boy, that looks hot. Alright, let's move quick with this. Does it melt on us? It's already hardening, as you guys can see. Alright, burn everything. This is my kind of place now. Well, we did not want this to happen and actually have obsidian form within our little cast iron here and unfortunately it happened. So what we're gonna do now is put more lava rocks in there, hopefully let that melt, because obsidian's kinda hard to melt at this point, and then do the PS4 versus lava. The chickens got out somehow, and now we're trying to chase them back into their, their place. You got anything to say, guys? Yeah, they're off. I'm gonna kind of open this so they can squeeze through that. I don't know. We have 11. I think we got them all. Got one, two. Stop moving! It's time for the grand finale of PS4. Come take a look at this ride. A Sony. PlayStation 4 Pro versus Molten Lava. Let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think is gonna win. Obviously, I personally think the PS4 is gonna be tough enough to defeat the lava, but without further ado, here we go. Almost 40 minutes this lava has been cooking. And it's time for it to come out and melt a PlayStation 4. Oh man, that's thick lava right there. Here we go. Oh man, the PS4 is literally catching on fire. It's so hard to literally get this stuff out.
Unfortunately, we couldn't get all the lava to come out. As you can tell, it turned into obsidian. So we're gonna put this back into the furnace. That's gonna wrap up for this video. George, I know you like playing with your hose. Come on over, stretch that line, and put out the fire. Oh man, look at him. Now watch out, that might have magnesium and might explode and come back into your face. I don't know. I'm just talking for something that's happened before. Alright Saxon family, if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, make sure to slap a like on it, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you never miss out on any brand new videos coming here to the channel. Thank you all so much for watching this video, I do appreciate it. Remember to always stay positive and also you can do anything you put your mind to. And until next time, it's been your boy Jeff, keeping it real, I'm gonna log out, I'm gonna peace out, and well, peace.